What's up guys, Rexon here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to add clipping masks to text and to just a regular shape or anything you want to in Photoshop CS6. It's a really simple process, but you will have to pay attention. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, this is what I'm going to teach you how to make with the text, and I will um, give you guys a .rar file with both of these textures in them. So to get started you'll want to go to uh, file new, make a new file just call it clipping mask there we go you can go ahead and close that one out now what you want to do is grab your paint bucket tool the shortcuts G on the keyboard and it may be hidden under the gradient tool so you may have to hold that hold that down and then select your paint bucket tool um, next, what you want to do is make sure that your foreground color is set to black. If it's not, you can either just open your color picker dialog box and drag it down to black and then hit OK. And another way, much easier way, I think, is just hitting the default colors button. Now what you want to do, just go ahead and make sure that your background layer is the active layer, which it should be since that's all we've done so far it's the only layer we have so far next what you want to do is grab the text tool grab a text you like and a font that you like go ahead and type your text there we go I'll go ahead and make mine white so I can see it which I advise you guys to uh, to do too and then we'll go ahead and grab the custom shape tool down here the shortcut is U on the keyboard, but it will be hidden under the rectangle tool. I'll just grab that shape right there. You can pick whatever shape you want. Just go ahead and make it right there. Change the fill to white. And then we'll drag it up here. Okay, so now what you want to do is go and grab the textures from the pack that I have given you guys we'll go ahead and start off with the Christmas texture go ahead and resize it to where it fits the over the text fairly well that'll be fine and then what you want to do after you've got it over your text is hold the alt key and put your cursor between the texture and the text layers and you'll see this little square with a, an arrow pointing down that means you're pointing in the right spot go ahead and click it and that that applies your layer mask and now to move on to the shape it's the same process just go ahead and drag your texture in drop it resize it over your uh, shape after you have that done go ahead and apply it Make sure it's above the shape or whatever layer you're doing this to. Hold Alt, click, and there you go. Now, one problem that people run into is when they're trying to move the actual shape or text or whatever they've made, they'll either move the shape and the texture won't move along with it and they don't get why, or they'll try to move the texture or they'll try to move it with the active layer is the texture and it'll move the texture instead of the shape so um, one way to fix that is to rasterize both layers and then merge the texture down onto the actual layer and that's one way to do it and another way to do it which is not destructive is to just grab them or actually make the texture the active layer or whichever one's on top which should be your texture Create a new group, select both layers, and drag them into that group. Excuse that. There we go. And there's an easier way. I do recommend if you want to move them both together as one, go ahead and just make them a group. One because, it's, well, mainly because it's not destructive, and that makes it a lot easier if you want to go back and maybe change the texture that you've added to it because you do only get a certain amount of undos. It's 20 undos and if you've gone past or if you've done 20 things to your project then you won't be able to get back to that so 
that's how you add a clipping mask and group it together, guys. Um, I hope this helped. If it did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. See ya.